straight to our market panel. Joining us now, Paul Hickey from Bespoke Investment Group and Scott Cronert from City. Great to have you both here. Paul, I'm going to start with you on this one because the S&P, as I just mentioned, has made up the losses of the recent pullback. How does this fare against other moves, similar moves we've seen, recovery moves, and, and how does it signal us for the rest of the year? Yeah, so it's pretty amazing, Morgan. You mentioned the, the move in the S&P so far in August. We're basically flat on the month now. Earnings season came to an unofficial end today with Walmart's report. We're basically flat during earnings season. So not much has happened, right? <laughs> um, it's basically full of sound and fury, signifying nothing at this point. And um, what we see here is our big important uh, takeaway here is what you saw in this volatility in the VIX over the last two weeks. You've seen some ex amazing moves. You saw one of the largest upside moves in history over a five-day span, followed by one of the largest downside moves in the five-day span. And when you look at those downside moves historically, those um, when you've seen moves of this magnitude, a year later, the S&P was always positive each time. In the shorter term, you saw some more mixed returns. You know, as things tend to sometimes settle out. You can see more <laughs> rockiness. But over the long term, we've basically cleared the decks of some of the weak hands here. And uh, you set the stage for a, a stronger foundation going forward in the market. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I think that's a positive long term. We don't know what the next couple of days are going to be. No one would have predicted what we've seen in the last two weeks. Uh, but longer term focusing, uh, we think there's still some positives here. Okay. Uh, I should note Applied Materials is out. We're going through those numbers. We're going to bring them to you momentarily here. In the meantime, Scott, I mean, you make the argument that growth is defensive in this market right now. What do you mean? So going into last year's, uh, last week's sell-off in the uh, uh, last Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, we, we looked at this metric that we use and increasingly focus on, which is implied growth expectations. And those levels had gotten quite extended going into the Q2 reporting period. So it was consistent with our view that going into uh, the summer months, you had to expect a pullback. And we had been characterizing that risk in the 5 to 10 percent range. We got down to 5,200, which was roughly that 5 percent. But importantly, what you did was took some of the some of the edge off of these very extended implied growth met metrics that in turn set the stage from our perspective for a better risk reward. So as we're navigating volatility and as we're navigating ongoing recession risk, our preference as of last week has been to focus on this, this mantra of growth being defensive across an economic valley that's still ill-defined with a better valuation setup and a still quite strong fundamental setup. Okay.